everyone! So today I'm here to do my what's in my diaper bag video. This has been something that I've really wanted to do for a long time. Um, even while I was pregnant I was so looking forward to this video. So me and Audrey and Lane have done a nice few co like outings, uh, some shorter, some longer, and I really think I've figured out what sort of system I want for carrying around all of Audrey's things. So right now I have two uh, different types of diaper bags. If you guys um, have been watching my channel. You guys would know while I was pregnant I did an unboxing of the Skip Hop Duo um, signature diaper bag in the chevron print which I actually have right here. Still with all the tags on so you guys might be able to tell that this is not the diaper bag I'm using. In that video I was going back and forth on whether or not I should get a different print that I was really looking at and it was a limited edition style so I knew it wouldn't be around forever um, and a few people said no don't do it it has less room but because I'm me, I just, I, I love stripes and I needed it in my life. So uh, I decided to get the Skip Hop Duo uh, signature in the limited edition French stripe. These are the exact same bag, uh, just different prints. Uh, and I'm a crazy person because I couldn't deal with one print, I needed the other. Uh, this one has leather handles instead of the um, nylon or... I don't exactly know what this is, but it's nylon, I think, um, handles, and it just, it looked better in my eyes. I just, I needed it, okay? I needed it. Um, and then I didn't just stop here, because um, when I started getting out and about, and I realized um, that sometimes I don't want to take this whole diaper bag. A lot of times, actually, with Audrey, I find that we don't go out for long, day-long outings yet, like, or long play dates. So running to the store or, you know, running around to go to a couple different places, I don't really need a full diaper bag for her. So because my lovely fiance ended up getting me uh, a purse, a new purse for a push present and a Pandora charm for our little, little baby girl, um, which I will show later on. I pr should probably do an updated Pandora collection because I haven't done one in like two or three years, but uh, just comment down below if you guys want to see that. I know it's so random, but anyway, um, this is the purse he ended up getting me as a push present and I absolutely loved it. But I thought, oh, you know, I'll never be able to use it because I'll be carrying the diaper bag until she's about, you know, one or two, however long, uh, until she narrows it down to enough things that I can just go back to using my purse. So I tried using this for a few days and it wasn't that bad, but I just thought that I needed something to separate my stuff from Audrey's when I'm using my purse. So I ended up purchasing the Jujube Be Quick in the... I don't, I cannot remember. I am so bad with Jujube prints. They have so many of them. I know this is from the Legacy Collection. That's about it. I'll print the print like right here on the screen. But um, so this is what I've been using to carry inside my purse. I literally just plop it in there. And I'm good to go. I have all of Audrey's little things that I'm going to need in here. So if I need to change her or burp her or whatever, uh, I can just take this and go. Um, so one other thing that I thought I'd mention that I bring everywhere we go is this bottle bag from Skip Hop. Um, we are bottle feeding, so I need a place to have bottles for her. So this is the Skip Hop uh, double bottle carrier in the heart sketch print. Uh, and this just fits, well, it fits three of her four ounce bottles perfectly. And there's a little spot for a ice pack in the back, which it comes with, but it's currently in the fridge. And it is just, it's fantastic. So regardless of the size of trip we go on, I normally bring this anyway. So I don't have any of her feeding stuff in here, if you're asking, if you're wondering like what's going on. So first I thought I'd go through the Juju Be Be Quick. I just thought I'd show you guys this just because when I started watching What's In My Diaper Bag videos, which I watched a ton, like I searched up What's In My Diaper Bag and went through like 10 pages of videos. Don't even get me started. But I noticed that not a lot of people did this concept of having like a smaller bag for smaller trips and then the full diaper bag for bigger trips or to leave in the car. So uh, I just thought I'd show you guys this because I really love this idea and this little bag, I think it was like $25. It was not expensive at all. And just having something little, you can use it as a wristlet or you can clip it onto the other side and have it be like a little purse, which is cute. Like it's just, I just love this. I think it's so convenient. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what's in here first. So in here, I just have a couple of things. Normally the max I'd go out with 
this amount of stuff would probably be an hour, nothing longer than that, or I'd probably just haul along the big diaper bag, uh, especially if she wasn't getting out of her car seat, like if we spent the whole time and she was just going to be sitting in her car seat, uh, maybe not even leaving the car, I would definitely do this. So in here, it's beautiful. It has like this little, um, I don't need bronze colored lining. It's gorgeous. And it does have a small little inner pocket. If you want to use this as just like a clutch and wanted to have like a few mommy essentials on the inside, but I don't really put anything in there other than a passy. Sometimes before we go out, if she doesn't have a passy in her mouth already, I will put it in that pocket. But other than that, it pretty much goes unused. By the way, I don't think I mentioned this. My daughter's two weeks old, so this is pretty much, uh, well, this is a very newborn diaper bag. So if you're looking for something for a more older child, I don't really have any experience in that. So I haven't, I don't have my diaper bag packed for an older child. So sorry, but this is just newborn goody goodies, really. Okay, anyway, getting back to showing you guys what's in my bag, I get so distracted. Anyway, so in here I have two size one diapers, which my daughter's currently in. They're just the Honest Company giraffe print. My Lane's obsessed with that print. Um, and then I just have a little bib in case, well, most likely she wants to feed. And it just says, I hurt my mommy. And then I have diaper cream. This is Penitin. This isn't what we normally use, but she works well, like she doesn't react to it. So I do have just a little one of there because we ran out of all of, like we have three or four of her regular diaper creams, but between everyone's diaper bags and one upstairs and one at my mom's, we just, we ran out. So I've been just throwing that one in here for now. I have a burp cloth because messes happen with kids. And then I just have a thing of wipes. And that I find is enough for her if we're just running out on a quick little trip and I don't want to lug around a huge, like, 15 pound diaper bag, I find that this is good enough. And just throw in my purse, and in my purse I have the rest of my essentials, and I find that it just works. It's it's easy, and I like it. And it, I would definitely recommend it to anybody, because I find that, why lug around a huge diaper bag when you don't really have to? Because I remember our first few tr quick trips out, I stuffed this thing to the brim, and I used nothing. Nothing, not a thing. Um, Cause our first few trips out, once was to Walmart for like, a, an hour um, and then the other time was I quickly ran into shoppers and then we went through uh, to grab coffee through the drive-through like it I used nothing she needed nothing she didn't even need a bottle <laughs> like I used absolutely nothing so I, I decided that was a good option but anyway let's get into what's in my diaper bag I think I might re-angle you guys for this just so we can get a better angle to see what's going on in here. So this is the bag up close. It has a waterproof outside. Well, not a waterproof, but like more of a water resistant outside. The faux leather handles with the faux leather on the trim as well. And then it has the same nylon strap as all the other Skip Hop bags. Let's go through the front pockets first. So first off in this front pocket over here, I keep a burp cloth. This is just one I got from the children's place. We really enjoy these. Um, I have a Secura toy, which I got these for like a two pack for five bucks off of Amazon. They basically just allow uh, toys to clip onto the stroller. Don't really need these yet, but I had them, so I thought I might as well throw them in there. And then lastly, I have a passy clip, which this one's just adorable. Sadly, Audrey's passies do not clip onto this, um, so that kind of sucks, but I just have it in there in case she's using a different passy, but her favorite ones don't clip on. Inside here, this does have like a little slot for pens, so I just have a little pen in there. Okay, and these mag magnetize shut, um, it's just both of these are very filled, so they can't really close anymore. Um, so next I have over here, I just have a hand sanitizer. This one's from the Honest Company. We love Honest Company. And this is the orange scented spray one. I love their spray hand sanitizers. And then the other thing I have in here is my mommy hook, which I love for clipping things onto the stroller. Okay, now let's see if I can move the strap. There we go. So next we have just three different pockets. In the back pocket, I have nothing but the change pad that came with the bag. It's just the Skip Hop standard one um, that folds out. And that's where the 
that's where it was when I opened the bag up first and that's where it stayed since. So let's get into the front pocket here. The front pocket isn't as deep as the back pocket. It only goes down to about the start of the pockets on the front. Um, and in here, this is kind of my mommy pocket. So in here, first thing I have, my wallet. This is just from Guess. Uh, I have a couple of feminine products because, you know, postpartum, you need them. Uh, I have my favorite uh, tinted lip balm. This is Posy Balm from Benefit. Next thing I have is a set of booby pads, um, just because I'm still leaking and that's how that works. Um, I have my keys. And uh, they're on a monogrammed uh, wristlet thing that needs to be changed because it's so dirty and my monogram's about to change. Uh, and here I also have a lip balm from EOS. This is the sweet mint one, I think. Not sure. Um, and then in here I just have the tags from the bag. I don't know what to do with these, so I've just kept them in there. Uh, I don't know what I'm ever going to do with them, but right now they're just sitting in there. Now before we get into the big pocket, I forgot to mention with this bag, it does come with two hidden bottle pockets on the sides, if you guys can see that. In one of them, and it's this one, I have a extra ready to feed formula. I know that normally uh, I do bring my bottle bag, but just in case I forget it or if it's in an inconvenient place, I have some formula ready to go and this is the kind that we, are, we have Audrey on at the moment. Let's get in here. So, as you can see, I fill this thing right to the brim, um, and I really like it that way. Uh, this does have two adjustable stroller straps on the sides here, so you don't have to bring extra stroller straps, which I love. Um, so first thing on top here is Audrey's Wubba Nub. This is Ella Bella Elephant or something, I'm not sure, but uh, this is just absolutely adorable. Would definitely recommend these. Audrey absolutely loves them, and that's how she actually got onto these pacifiers. Next in here, I have a passy pouch. In here, you can attach this to the stroller or the outside of the bag. I just like keeping it on the inside of the bag. And in there, I just have one passy, which is the same as the one on the Wubbinub, and then one, um, I'm not sure if you guys can see this. I don't really want to touch it because it's sterile at the moment. One of the nipples for the ready-to-feed bottles, uh, the one on the side there, just in case. Because normally I don't bring ready to feeds around with us, but it's good for in emergencies. So there we go. Uh, next thing I have in here is a bottle warmer. I always bring this if, regardless if it's ready to feed, the ready to feed that I have in here, or if it's for bottles that I have in the cooler bag, I'm going to need to warm them up. So this is great. It's from Prince Lionheart. I absolutely love their stuff. Um, and this has just worked amazingly. Definitely would recommend this. I think it was only like 20 bucks on Amazon. It's great. Okay, let's get into the rest of the bag. So next thing I have here are some Passy, what, Passy and Toy Wipes um, Bamboo Baby from Aliva Naturals. Really like these. These have worked great for her pacifiers, um, for toys. Anything that's fallen on the floor really has been just quickly cleaned up with that, except for bottles, obviously. <laughs> Um, and then here I just have some bamboo baby wipes. Uh, I have used one of these on her face once, um, just because I don't want to use diaper wipes, obviously. And these have worked great. I just got these for, in a sample package from the hospital. Um, so I didn't buy these myself, but they've worked great for the purpose that I wanted them for. <laughs> Um, off of this stroller strap over here, I have diaper genie bags for quick disposal at anyone's house or in a public restroom. It's just, they're necessary, okay? Nobody wants to be smelling baby poop in the trash. <laughs> Nobody. Guaranteed. Um, and then in here, I just have some more size one diapers from the Honest Company. We have four of the poppy prints and then one of the giraffe prints. Uh, I find five is more than enough. Of course, I'd adjust it on the how long, um... Our outing is four, but I think I will never run out if I have five. I don't know, because normally she goes to a diaper every two or two to three hours. Um, so definitely should not be gone for more than like, what, 10 to 15 hours? I, I think we're home by that point. Um, so that's just in one of the two pockets here. Um, in between the two pockets, I just have a quick little face cloth here. I have no idea where this is from, um, but it's just one of her washcloths that we have for her. 
And I find that these are so great, whether it be as an extra burp cloth, or, well, not burp cloth, but an extra just spit up rag, or if I need to just wet it and wash her face off, it's great to have. It's very handy, and it's so small that it can just fit in wherever. Um, and then in this pocket here, I just have her other, the rest of her diapering essentials. Um, First thing I have here, Organic Healing Balm from The Honest Company. This is what we use every time, single time we change her diaper and it works, has worked amazingly so far. We love it. And then the next thing we have here is a Honest Company Travel Wipes case. Um, so in here we obviously have Honest Company wipes um, and this fits about 10 to 15 wipes depending um, and it's just worked great so far. So normally I just cut open the little 10 travel package and Put that right in there that's what I've done so far anyway next thing I have in here is kind of huge um, it is a wet dry bag from skip hop in the heart sketch print to match her bottle warmer uh, but I just think this is a great idea uh, it has a spot for dry clothes in the front and then inside is meant for any disasters if you are cloth diapering how do you not have this bag uh, this is just an amazing idea. If you're planning on cloth diapering, definitely get it. Even if you're not, I would still recommend it because it's just that great of an idea. In here, I have a bib for feeding and then I have two different outfits because I've heard from moms that sometimes one outfit is not enough. Sometimes that kid decides to poop through or spit up on not just its own outfit, that you bring them there in, but then the next outfit you put on. So I have two. I have one kind of nicer outfit. It's just a blue basic onesie, short sleeves, with some little leggings with a penguin on the bum. And then the next one's just a sleeper. And this is, just has little giraffes with in little cars, and then they have little giraffes on the feet. Both of these, well, all three of these items are zero to three months from Carters, I believe both are, all three items are. In here we also have an extra pair of socks and an extra pair of scratch mittens. Absolutely necessary. And the great thing about this is that you can fold it pretty easily. So I just fold it in half and lay it down right at the bottom of my diaper bag. Almost at the bottom anyway. At the very bottom of my diaper bag I just have a swaddle blanket from Aiden and I. These are amazing. They're so big. You can use them as stroller covers, as car seat covers, um, as burp cloths, to swaddle, you know, what they're meant for. But these are just, they're so multi-purpose that to not have one in my diaper bag would be such a mistake, in my opinion. And that's everything. So that's it, everyone. That's what's in my diaper bag and diaper clutch. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I know I did. I really loved making it. Just because while I was pregnant, I knew that I went through so many of these videos trying to find out what to pack in my diaper bag. Um, and I really didn't know what would work until my daughter got here. And I think that's just the case with everyone um, because you don't know what your daughter's gonna need, how they are, well, I guess not your daughter, your child's gonna need, um, how they are, if they're more fussy, then you might need more things if they, uh, eat a lot more frequently then you might need more like it's, it's hard to tell um also if you're breastfeeding or bottle feeding that makes it plays a big factor on how much you need in your diaper bag but regardless i hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you just want to comment down below to comment down below and tell me that you love this video or what kind of videos you'd like to see coming up so comment down below make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye